the LG V20 user here and today I'm doing a video about a series here so they have announced a gaming fan it's called the Republic of Gamers I'm guessing that's what the fans called uh, so I'm on their uh, on, I'm on like their newsroom page or whatever uh, this article got published yesterday uh, so they announced it yesterday guys so it says uh, introducing the ROG fan changing the game for mobile so this is pretty cool um, so now there's another gaming friend on the market to compete with the Razer phone the Razer phone is really nice guys if you guys have never checked it out it's a nice phone and whatnot I never check out the Razer phone in person but the Razer phone looks very nice and then all that good stuff so uh, the Razer phone now has competition this almost Seuss phone here so let's go check this phone out over it it says since 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 its inception in 2006, the Republic of Gamers has pursued a mandate to push boundaries to deliver a better gaming experience. We started with motherboards, spread to virtual, spread to virtually every do-it-yourself desktop component, and have been building hardcore gaming laptops for more than a decade. The smartphones in that early area barely qualified as such, but they started to revolution that transformed the computing landscape. We watched closely as these digital sidearms became increasingly capable gaming machines and all around computers. <coughs> and we saw how developers harnessed their growing power to make to take mobile gameplay and graphics to the next level. We also gained the insight from exports, professionals, regular players, and gaming developers on how mobile gaming devices should be improved. Now the time is right to introduce the ROG phone. Our first Android device combines special Snapdragon and Silicon with innovative cooling to produce silky frame rates you can actually s sustain. Its uncompromised display blends blisterly speed with beautiful HDR visuals, while programmable air triggers and tactile enhancement bright ha heighten your physical connection and comfort. There are other upgrades throughout and the phone is joined by a collection of trans formative accessories for the docking with the desktop, doubling up as double up doubling up on screens and batteries and adding console like controls alongside a wireless display. The whole family debuted today at Complex 2018 in Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, so this is the look at the phone right here. This is the back of the phone. Yeah this one has an interesting design to it, yo. <laughs> Man. So that's what the phone looks like right there. So that's the um back of the phone. Nice logo and it says uh Republic of Gamers, that, that's what the phone's called. Uh you got branding right there, you got that logo which is nice. Uh you got a camera there, the old camera's on back. Um, so yeah, it has like you can. This one, like, it looks nice on back. Let's keep going. Tray pick chip bank bend for speed in turn for gaming. Performance is paramount for competitive gamers who need to stay one step ahead of their opponents. And for everyday players who don't want hiccups running their ruin in their immersion like other flagships there. The Republic of Gamers phone is based on Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 845 SOC whose eight Cairo CPU cores and Adreno 630 graphics have ample horsepower for the latest games. Rather than taking the standard processor, we worked with the company to get a bend version selected specifically for its ability to run at faster frequencies. It's especially for the Republic of Gamers phone. This special chip clocks up at 2.96 GHz. Holy fuck. 
nearly 200 megahertz higher than stock making it Qualcomm's fastest ever mobile platform Wow, 2.96 gigahertz wow I'm pretty sure that's uh, octa-core holy fuck Whew, that's the fastest clock speed I've ever seen on the phone Uh, your phone also needs to last all day, so the Snapdragon 845 aggressively reduces clock speeds during idle periods and balance workloads between high performance and power efficient CPU force. While those measures domestic dramatically improve battery life, they can also introduce small delays that slow down your game to prevent interruption. We develop X mode, which raises the minimum clock speed to keep up the CPU on its toes and confines tasks to the chip for fastest score to ensure maximum performance. You can this you can enable this mode instantly from the quick settings menu or configure game center to activate it automatically when running your favorite games and any other apps that need a boost. So I don't know what they're showing here, this thing here We'll find out what this thing is, I reckon. Powerful processor generates significant heat when running cutting edge games, often leading to thermal darling that turns flawlessly gaming, flawlessly slow gaming into a starting slideshow. Our new game cool system improves thermals with a copper heat spreader and 3D vapor chamber that efficiently transform heat away from the SOC and into the body. If you want an extra kick, the optional aeroactive cooler blows air out from the back to accelerate heat dissipation into the environment. This auxiliary cooler comes in the box and lowers the fan surface and processing temperatures enough to improve sustained performance for extremely strenuous gaming sessions. So I'm guessing that's what this is. It's like a heat it's like a it's like a it's like a cool system thing. It's like it cools down your phone and shit. So your that phone doesn't overheat and so it will prevent uh thermal throttling and all that. So that's yeah I'm guessing that's, that's what this is and it says it comes in the box. That's fucking nice, alright? Refuse to compromise on the display. Better performance means more frames per second, but a higher refresh rate is required to actually see them. The Republic of Gamers phone Remy 6 inch display refreshes at 90Hz, allowing it to drop to 50% more frames than typical smartphone screens. The graphics and gameplay look and feel much smoother, and titles optimized for higher. High refresh rate. So, uh, the screen is six inch display. It refreshes at 90 hertz. The Razer phone refreshes at 120 hertz. But yeah, this phone's gonna have competition. The Razer phones are not gonna have competition. So we'll see which one you know is the is is the one. Um, I like the software keys on this phone. I like that. Pretty awesome. Some high end, some high refresh mobile. Displays suffer from lower pixel transitions that leave blurry ghosts trailing behind moving objects. But the Republic of Grammar's phone uses an ultra fast MOLED dose, one, mi one mi millisecond response times matches the pixel flipping speed of a competition grade Republic of Gamers Swift PG2 258Q export monitor. I'm guessing that's a computer, maybe, I don't know what that is. The graphics are crystal clear, even in fast paced and action oriented titles with lots of movement. So, here's the front on front, guys. Uh, that's where you like your, uh, I guess, some card go right there. I don't know. Uh, that's the home screen right there. You got Google Mobile Manager themes. Oh man, this one looks nice, dude. Wide grommet panel plentiful palette covers 108.6 
percent of the cinematic grade DCIP3 color space. Paint a vivid picture whether you are scavenging in a battle royale or scrolling through Instagram. Bottomless blacks and a 10,001 contrast ratio makes imagery look bold and more like more like like. That's kind of weird. While HDR supports extends to distance a dynamic range, you don't need special content to benefit from HDR either. We use an independent image processing chip that enhances local contrast for all content. In addition to exposing more depth, this visual treatment can provide a competitive advantage by helping you see enemies lurking in the shadows. Triggered by awkward landscape limitations. Although the Republic Gamers Phone has a 10 point touchscreen sensitive enough to detect input to gloves, your fingers are best placed on the air triggers. These dedicated ultrasonic buttons actually uh, accumulate with only 20 grams of force giving them a light touch for quick reflexes. There are two on the left edge positioned perfectly for your fingers with the fan rotated in landscape orientation. Plus one more on the bottom right edge to add vis to, a to add versatile versatility in portrait mode. Each one can be customized to perform different act to each one can be perform can be customized to perform different functions including Executing macros that rely reproduce game specific gestures. The buttons can also be configured for non gaming tasks like instantly launching specific apps and activating functions like one handed mode. So that's a win. So I, I, I want to send those air triggers. Holy shit! Okay. The air triggers help you. The, the air triggers. Help keep your fingers off the screen to expose more of what you want to see under the hood. An advanced optic engine generates nuisance vibrations for more detailed force feedback in games. So I'm guessing that's what the air triggers are, is right there where the person's hand, where person's fingers are. So holy shit. This game will be good for like Fortnite. When when Fortnite comes to Android, this game, the Fortnite game will be great on this phone. I'm telling you guys, Fortnite is gonna be great on this fucking phone. I'm telling you, Fortnite for Android to be great on this phone. I'm telling you guys, I cannot wait for till Fortnite comes out. Uh, most mobile games are meant to be played in landscape mode, but this orientation creates a problem echoed by everyone we talked to when designing the Republic 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 of Gamers phone. When you rotate to landscape, the chain, the charging and headphone cables get in the way, making your phone awkward and uncomfortable to hold. We fix this issue by adding a port in the right to the right side, so you, you, you can game my charger without the cable affecting your grip. The ever active cooler also plugs into this multi-purpose port and includes its own landscape friendly connectors for both charger and headphones. So that's, I'm guessing that's what this is. That's what I'm guessing that's what the Aero Active Cooler is. I'm guessing that this is what this is. So you have your charging port right there and your um headphone jack right there. More than just another gaming phone, much of what makes the Republic of Gamers phone exceptional for gaming has broader and appeal for day to day use. The pumped up process is perfect for power users to, to do everything on the mobile devices, especially when paired with 8 gigabytes of RAM and up to 512 gigabytes of speedy FTS 2.1 storage. Holy fuck. Whoa, 512 gigabytes. Holy shit. Whoa. That's a lot of fucking memory, guys. Holy fuck. I think the Razer phone has 100. Uh, has 100 has 120 gig storage I think so this beats the rest of the front on that 
The passive display adds a luxurious layer of polish to everyday activities like quickly scrolling through websites and social feeds and its 18 by 9 aspect ratio makes the body narrower and easier to hold. Gorilla Glass protects the screen from inadvertent damage while a water resistant design protects the body from liquid infiltration. So this one's waterproof. Holy fuck! This one's waterproof in every fucking thing. The razor friend's not waterproof. I don't think. The best thing about this phone ain't got a notch on it. Thank God, you know. Huh. Oh, where was I? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, okay, dual front-facing speakers use smart amp technology to produce more volume with less distortion for every day. From Spotify playlists to better fuel gunfire. Alternatively, you can plug an analog headphone or the new Republic of Gamers Delta Type C handset headset and immerse yourself in virtually surround sound with measure of pri privacy. The integrated networking is top notch with Gigabit LTE cellular plus Y gig plus Y gig certified 8211 AD 60 gigahertz Wi-Fi with up with both 2x2 MIMO and Wi-Fi direct. The side mounted port also supports you by internet over type C and plus HDMI and USB. It's fun, got it all. Both of the type C ports work with standard chargers for convenience and compatibility, but they really shine with the included hypercharger adapter. This, upda this updated, this upgraded adapter integrates the charging IC that uses in the phone, which increases the power to deliver up to 20 watts and lowers the charging temperatures for the handset. The Republic of Gamers phone can charge its 4,000 mAh battery in. The Republic, the Republic of Gamers phone can charge its 4,000 mAh battery to 6% capacity in only 33 minutes and 85% in just one hour. So it has fast charging on there. It has a 4,000 mAh battery. Wow, this phone, this phone, this phone. I mean, yo. Man, that phone, is, this looks fucking nice. It says fast charging, fast charging is a given with high-end smartphones as is the fingerprint reader for instant unlocking and the dual camera setting next to it. The primary shooter captures stunning pixel images with a conventional lens while the secondary camera takes 8 megapixel wide angle shots with a 120 degree field of view. So it's dual 12 megapixel cameras on back I believe and 8 megapixel front facing cameras guys. The 8 megapixel in front is wide angle at 120 degrees. Uh, the logo on the back adds an element of exterior personality. Uh, the logo on the back adds an element of exterior person personalization. Glowing one color, glowing whatever color you choose with static, breathing, and strobing effects and cycling through the spectrum. Wow. So I think lots of different colors. Wow. You can synchronize RGB illumination across up to five R you can synchronize RGB illumination across up to five Republic of Gamer Swans wirelessly to match the rest of your squad. The lighting also syncs with a with optional accessories that plug into the side mounted connector. Wow, this one got it all, man. Dock into more than a smartphone. So you guys can see right there. Yeah, this shit looks cool as a bitch. So this thing is like, it's like an actual gamepad. Holy fuck. The mobile desktop dock lets you build a complete desktop around the Republic Gamers phone, including hooking up a 4K monitor, gigabit internet, 5.1 channel speakers, and a stack of USB 
Persons. It may not be sporting the drifty destroy your rivals using using the keyboard and mouse, but the comp but the competitive advantage is available if you want it using that type of sub fuels to plow through your inbox and work on documents is more is much less controversial. Okay. So you can hook this bitch up to a TV. Holy, you can hook this, yo. You can hook this bitch up to a fucking TV, yo. This fucking phone is awesome, dude. Rather than stationing the Republic of Gamers phone at a desk, the Twin View dock takes it on the road in a handheld package, complete with another screen. That's what this is right here. Yeah, that's fucking insane, dude. Holy fuck, man. The second day display is identical to the one on the phone, giving gamer, giving, giving, giving gaming developers more real world sight to show maps, inventory, and other important information. Players have room to simultaneously view other applications for chatting with teammates, reading up on strategies, or watching other matches. The twist. The, twi the twin view dock is great for live streaming, especially since it prevents your fingers from blocking the front facing camera. It also takes gaming further into console territory with physical trigger buttons and dual haptic feedback engines. Enhanced cooling keeps performance on point, while a massive 6,000 battery, 6,000 milliamp auxiliary battery extends the life, sends the runtime for your mobile adventures. Holy fuck! So I'm guessing this gamepad thing has a 6,000 million battery in there. So it's basically like an extra battery pack. That's pretty nice. Man, this phone is fucking awesome, dude. It's fucking awesome, dude. It's fucking awesome. Ah, oh, it's fucking awesome. <coughs> Says the wide gig dock takes a different approach to secondary screens by using low latency 8 to 11 AD 60 gigahertz Wi-Fi to broadcast display signals to a base station that plugs into a big screen TV. This is the lucky see right here and this picture right here. Wow, that's fucking awesome. It pairs well with the third-party game vice controller, which squeeze the R R which squeeze the Republic of Gamers phone between banks of traditional gamepad joysticks and buttons to enable a console like experience that works from across the room on the couch. And that's what that person has right here. Be nice to see that. Dude, this fucking fan man. Awesome. So here's the specs. Uh, it's called the Republic of Gamers phone. It has a 2.96 gigahertz octa core Sun 845 processor, a 2630 graphics system display 18 by 9 aspect ratio. The display on this phone is AMOLED, 2160 by 1080 pixels. It has 90 hertz, 90 hertz refresh rate with one millisecond pixel response time, 108.6 percent DCI-P3 color gamut, and 1000. In 10,001 contact ratio, 10 point multi touch sports glove touch, discrete image processing chips supports HDR, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I guess you have two storage options 128 gig or 250 or 128 gig or 512 gig. Wow, sensors you have a lot of sensors on this phone. You have a set of monitor, a compass like proximity sensor. Hall sensor, and that's sort of what that is. Ambient light sensor, fingerprint sensor, gyroscope, two time ultrasonic air triggers, your wireless connections. You have Wi Fi 8211 ABGN and AC and AD, 2x2 two two MO, Wi Fi direct and wide gig, 8211 AD wireless display support, Bluetooth 5.0 and NFC on board. So I guess the um, 8211 AD is a new Wi Fi band, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it supports GPS, AGPS, GLONASS, and all that. So I have one 
1.0 or whatever. Custom USB C supports USB 3.1 Gen 1 TP 1.4 fast charging 15 watts assist hyper charge direct charging. Bottom USB Type C supports USB 3.0 fast charging 20 watt direct charge 3.5 mm headphone jack. Okay, so there's two cameras on back, like I said, but it's 12 megapixels and, and 8 megapixels on back. It's the uh, rear camera and the, uh, the wide angle camera on back is 8 megapixels uh, with 120 degree wide angle, and the front facing camera is 8 megapixels on front. Um, so it has like it, it, I think it has like two charging ports on this bitch. I think it has like two of them. The audio here, um, dual front facing stereo speakers with smart amplifier 24-bit 192 kilohertz high resolution audio DTX headphones, Qualcomm a Qualcomm high definition Bluetooth wireless audio 4000 mAh battery, and the frame weighs 200 grams. I'm not sure how much that is in uh, pounds. But I'll find it right now. I will ask Google. How much is 200 grams in pounds? 200 grams equals 0 0.441 pound. So what I got was on that is point four four one pound. So yeah, I think I think this one is a heavy phone. I think it's heavy. Um. So it's not the lightest phone out there. I think this one to be pretty heavy. Um, I don't know how much it is, and it's like go. Uh, Pounds is like point four four one pounds or something so like that. So I'm pretty sure the phone's pretty heavy. I just asked Google, so y'all guys heard it on the video here. Into a new era of gaming, although we created the Republic of Gamers Fund to raise the bar for mobile gaming, its compelling technology and versatile accessories lay a foundation to redefine what portable computers can be. This is more than just a gaming device. It's a well-rounded digital com companion that channels the history of the Republic of Gamers while offering a glimpse into its future. The Republic of Gamers Run will be available this summer in configuration of, in configuration of 128 gig and 512 gigs of, of internal storage, both of which come with the Aero Aero active cooler that's, that's what goes on the back of the phone all the other accessories will be sold separately and it's just a bundle will pack all of them into a suitcase with the high end version of the phone as your local Republic of Gamers will be representative for details about street dates and pricing in your region So I'm guessing that's what you get in the box right there. If you get like all the like the uh the, the sh if you get all that if you get like um if you get like all the sessions and shit uh you get the air trigger thing the gaming smartphone. Uh, so once you guys get the um the uh the assist for the gamer phone, you guys get this in the box. Uh, where what where is it? You guys get the cooling thing. This comes in the box with the phone. The Aero Active Cooler. But what helps you keep your phone cool and not overheat when you're playing games. That comes in the box automatically. So 
That's a fucking win. This fan looks fucking nice, guys. That's what it's called. That's 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 the cooling thing right there. There's a charging port, your headphone jack there. Um charging port, headphone jack, microphone. So it has two charging ports, two headphone jacks. This one is fucking nice. Yo. Fucking nice man. This one's gonna be available this summer. Um uh, it's it's gonna be available in two storage options, one twenty eight gig and five twelve gig. Um, I suggest you guys get the 512 gigabyte version. I suggest you guys get that. Um, it says ask your local Republican gamers with a representative of the for straight dates and pricing. So uh, try to uh, do that. Um, I don't know where you'd go to ask for that. Um, So yeah, this article will be linked in the description like, uh, of this video. So go check out this article if you guys are interested in this phone. Uh, this phone is not gonna be cheap by any stretch of the, of the imagination. This one's gonna be a lot of money. It's, this phone's gonna have a lot of accessories with it. This phone has a lot of fucking accessories with it, man. So you got guys put this phone onto a TV. Uh, it has a portable gaming pad with it, like it, like an Nintendo DS, 3DS, something like that. It's not like that. This comes included in the box. This is included in the box right here. Uh, this is included in the box. And that's what the thing looks like. There's a charging port and headphone jack right there. Uh, yeah, this one is it's fucking fun, man. Uh... Yes, and this, this is like your docking thing right there. So that's your docking thing. Uh, they don't mention anything about, about about a memory card, about external storage. So I don't think it has external storage though. I don't think you can put an SD card in there. I don't think so. Here's the back of the phone. I guess that's that, that that's your buying button right there. Dual cameras. There's the phone right there. There's the um the gaming pad. I was. There's the um. The docking station right there. You can plug it into a desktop. Wow. That's nice. You hook it up to a TV and you can get like the little um the little um the joysticks in there on the side of the phone. That's pretty nice. And it's just a bundle in so um, it says here, guys, you know, the Aero Active Cooler is included in the box with the phone. Um, all the other accessories will be sold separately. Of course, like, like the gaming pad, the docking station, the, the joysticks, and all that good stuff. And, and a special bundle will pack all of them into a suitcase with the high-end version of the smartphone. I'm guessing that's the 512 gigabyte version. It says, ask your local we talk about gamers representative for details about street dates and pricing in your region. So do you keep that in mind? Yeah. This one's gonna be out this summer, guys. This one's just gonna be expensive as fuck, man. Yo, man. This one is this one's fucking nice as hell. Like, I can't wait to see this phone in action, bro. I can't wait to see it. I'm gonna say about this one. This one is expensive as fuck, though. But it is what it is. And yeah, what do you guys think about this phone? Would you guys get this phone? I don't know how much the phone will be though. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be expensive as fuck. Though, I'll tell you that. Like. So not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, 
it's basically a gamer phone. Uh, I mean, the Razer fan now will, now will have competition when this thing comes out. Uh, the Razer fan has a 120 hertz refresh rate on its phone. This one has 90 hertz refresh rate, so um, the Razer is a bit the Razer phone is a bit better than that in terms of that. But other than that, man, this fucking phone it blows the fucking Razer phone out the fucking water. I think this phone comes with Oreo. Well, I think it's going to come with Oreo. It doesn't say it didn't say anything about the um, OS, but I think it will come with Oreo 8.0 or, or, or 8.1. Uh, so yeah, so the uh, the Asus for Coco Gamer Phone has been announced. So maybe able to summer. Um, are you guys gonna get one of these phones? This phone, this phone's gonna be expensive as fuck. Doesn't matter if you get the 128 gig, the 128 eight gig, or the 512 gig. Phones gonna be expensive as fuck. Man. I can see the um the 512 gig, 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 gig gigabyte version, well being well over a thousand dollars. The 128 gig might be close to a thousand dollars, maybe slightly more than that. Like this one's not gonna be cheap by any stretch of the imagination. And if you guys get all the bundles and shit. Says it's gonna come in a suitcase. I want to see the fucking suitcase, bro. I want to see all the accessories, all that shit. I want to see everything about this phone. I want to see everything about it. I'm excited about this phone. Phone looks nice. Um, phone looks fucking looks nice, man. So what do you guys think about the Asus Republic Gamers uh, gaming phone? Are, are you guys gonna get one? Um. You know, do you guys think? Do you guys think that? that the Republic of Gamers phone is better than, than the Razer phone, or do you guys think the Razer phone is better? Well, what is your opinion about that? Uh, so yeah, man, shit's crazy, man. Shit's gonna be expensive as fuck. Uh, so it's gonna release this summer. Um, so yeah, so it's pretty cool there. So uh, check out this article, ready for yourself. And uh, yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see this phone in action. So uh, that's uh, pretty much it guys, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up guys, it really helps me out a lot. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.